My name is Vanessa Alferman. I lost my son, Axel Alferman, at 22 weeks, five days from COVID that caused a blood clot on my placenta. We weren't trying to get pregnant because I have issues, so we just did a little bit of fertility and it was a shock to get pregnant. It was like our miracle. We went to our 16 week checkup and Axel let it be known that he was a boy when we weren't even looking for it. So yes, we were very excited. In the beginning of November, my husband started having symptoms. He came up positive. And the day he came up positive that night, I started having symptoms. I was on about day 10 and I started getting some back spasms, but I went to St. Louis. That's where my OB is. My white blood cells were elevated, so they knew I had an infection somewhere. But Axel at that time was fine. I was all intact. They um, sent me home with some meds to help. And they helped for like an hour. I had no spasms, nothing. And then it was kind of eerie. After an hour, everything just increased. And then I started bleeding. I got to the OB in St. Louis. They checked me and I had my bag protruding. So they rushed me upstairs and I was fully dilated. And probably within 15 minutes, Axel was born and the NICU team held him as he took his only breath. I didn't even get to hold him, but I saw him at least take his only breath. And once it was finally expelled, um, I had a blood clot over 25% of my placenta that caused the placenta to come off my uterus and that's what was causing this. So this back spasms was my placenta slowly coming off my uterus. You know after they all leave you, the NICU leaves you, everyone leaves you and you're just in the room by yourself with Axel and that's when I just broke down because I realized he's so little and he's He's not breathing and he's, it just hit me all at once. And I tried to be strong because my husband was there, but you can't really be strong in those instances. When they announced the vaccines were gonna be available by Pfizer, I just was, you know, it's always the what if, like what if I had had that? What if, you know, would Axel be here? Would I have not had this blood clot? Like what would have happened? If I could have gotten it while I was pregnant, I would have. And it just wasn't available yet. It just reminds me of what could have been. That's the thing, COVID will always remind me of what could have been. And I always say, I don't want pity for what happened to me. Like when I tell my story, I said, I don't want it to be just a sad situation. I just want Axel's lives to change the narrative to where, you know, he didn't have to die for no reason. If his life could get someone vaccinated, then that means people are being saved. Like I never could fathom the idea that I would lose a son to this. This is why I talk about it so much because I don't want anyone else to have to experience this when it could be prevented. Prevent what is preventable. Get your COVID-19 vaccine.